Thank you for the opportunity to share my thoughts with you on the importance of fighting corruption. Combating corruption is a prerequisite to achieving the country's goal of becoming a prosperous, stable, and inclusive democracy. Corruption hinders economic growth by discouraging investment and draining public funds. Corruption impedes social cohesion, causing individuals at every level of society to seek personal enrichment rather than serving the public good. Corruption contributes to political fragility and instability, and corruption demoralizes citizens by eating away at the foundations of society, undermining the faith in the rule of law, in economic progress, and in the democratic process. Surveys show time and time again that a large portion of Macedonians consider the parliament, police, public officials, the judiciary, and political parties to be corrupt. Furthermore, an overwhelming 80% of citizens in targeted municipalities believe that corruption has increased in the last 10 years. And unfortunately, in this country, the greatest consequence of continued corruption is the out-migration of youth. Their lack of opportunities, not simply for jobs and for personal gain, but for contributing to society, is causing youth to leave at alarming levels, draining the country of its greatest resource. Recognizing that corruption is an endemic challenge, it's time for action. We know that inclusive decision-making, openness to accountability and oversight, and strengthening of the rule of law are all necessary if we are to make a meaningful impact on corruption. That means everyone has a role to play. In addition to the central government, local authorities, civil society organizations, the media, and citizens are critical to prevent corruption and respond to it when it happens. The government plays an important role by ensuring anti-corruption legislation and policies are in place and respected, reducing vulnerabilities to corruption in state systems and processes, responding to corruption when it is detected, and supporting the vital work of the State Commission for the Prevention of Corruption. Municipalities are responsible for adopting additional policies to combat corruption at a local level and build effective, accountable, and transparent systems that can deliver municipal services efficiently. Citizens are responsible for reporting corruption and rejecting any part in corrupt practices. And civil society and media are responsible for mobilizing public opinion in a way that increases citizen engagement in reporting the abuse of power. Civil society groups need to continue to organize communities to act, advocate for accountable and transparent institutions, and expand the work with government institutions to propose policies that deter abuse. We are here to work with you. The U.S. government supports local efforts to reinforce transparency and accountability mechanisms and reforms in a way that will cement progress and reduce backsliding. Heightened public awareness and scrutiny, implemented legislation, increased e-governance solutions, and strengthened public financial management will reduce the space where corruption can take place. We are also partnering with you to promote a culture of accountability among citizens, especially young people, helping to motivate and equip them to actively fight corruption. Only by showing the next generations that no one is above the law and that the system is fair will they have the confidence to invest in their futures here and prosper. I want to recognize your efforts in driving this agenda forward and encourage you to continue the hard work. I hope you will find new ways to deepen your partnerships and advance actions that will have an impact on corruption. I also want to recognize the Association for Democratic Initiatives, a partner of our Civic Engagement Project, for its efforts in organizing this event and leading in the fight on corruption. Thank you.